Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here and only welcome back to some more Dragon Blade Spotlight. I know it's been a while. I've been playing Genshin Impact, you know, trying to get as far as, as, far as I could. Now I'm cool down on it and now we can get back into the spotlight. I've been addicted and we're not going to talk about it. But yeah, today we're going to be going over Kamel. Kamel is actually a really decent support, so I'm going to be going through this. So, Kamel mostly specializes in Erebos, which is pretty much the Arch Busters, which are our mechs. Um, she is a Paladin, Magic, and a Tank. Her normals are that she applies Punishment on a single target and deals AoE Splash Damage to her enemies. Enemies who are hit by Punishment will not be able to crit. I don't know why, why they put critically hit, but you know, they just can't critical at all. So it completely turns off that. First skill, she has an AOE. It also stuns if there is a punishment debuff. The second skill is that she fully heals an ally, resets their skills, and she increases magic attack. When alone, she can use the skill on herself. When she has teammates up, she can't use it on herself. Her third skill is that she's completely invulnerable to attacks during its cast time, and she gets an attack buff that increases up to five times for every second. Passive one nullifies all crit damage, even if it says 100% chance of crit, and she revives all allies but herself upon death. Passive two increases magic attack self shield at the start of battle and she regains this shield every three seconds after it disappears passive three increases magic attack take less damage from physical attacks from enemies when fighting hydra increase additional boss damage intelligence and magic attack for all allies when inside of the arch buster izuka i'm probably not saying that right but you know we're just gonna go with that all main stats are increased for all ally busters so all the rest of the busters are getting these buffs too as long as she's inside of the support arc buster okay max passive using skill 3 increases attack and more shield less damage taken from physical attacks ultimate passive punishment increases magic damage that is taken when using skill 3, increase more magic and more AoE for allies. Fighting Hydra increases magic attack, intelligence, and AoE for allies. Arch passive increases magic, AoE, increases magic damage taken for enemies. Using skill 3, increases more magic and AoE for allies, and less damage taken when inside of Archbuster Izuka, Concealment and Detection becomes Phase 2. Infinity. When using Skill 3, increase more AoE, Magic Attack, additional boss damage is now added, more, less damage taken for allies, and increased Magic Attack, Stamina for allies. When inside of Archbuster Izuka, increase Skill Damage for ally busters. So everything's pretty much relying on her three, obviously. <laughs> so you can actually stop this pretty easy, easily too, because it's only in like a phase two invulnerability. But I'm sure if she was to get, pretty sure if she was to get um, an increase in that, that would be beneficial to her. But let's hope she gets a final impact that actually buffs this up because <laughs> phase two is just way too low for buff removals and let's go into skills here are the skills for exalted camel
All right, those are the skills for Camille. So Camille is definitely more heavy inside of Hydra and in Azuka, which is our support arch buster. So if you don't have her in there, she actually gives a lot of benefits. So if anything, I would just probably take out Falcon and just throw her in if you have her. Just because it's those little things that are helping you. Need to find my paladins. Keep getting that hate. Searching for these sometimes. <laughs> I to be honest, as long as she's assaulted, you, you're pretty much golden, really. I would definitely try and affinity, affinity her if I were you. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed. That has been Kamel. And now we shall go on to Mika, who's over here. That's it. Peace out.